This is a 3D printed machine that doesn't have a practical application, um, but it's, uh, it's pretty fun to play with. Today's video is a design review of a rotational to linear motion machine that I made. It was inspired by machine number 93 from 507 Mechanical Movements. The name used for it there is a slotted yoke. 507 Mechanical Movements has a lot of cool mechanisms, so check the description for a link if you're interested. Alright, now we're going to look at version 1 and version 2 of the machine and the changes that were made between them and just how I iterated on the design. So the handle for version 1 was bad. It functioned, but you couldn't really hold the knob because when you held the knob you were too high up and you would cause the pin to just pull out and it would break the entire machine. For version 2, I made a spinning mechanism to use and I'll throw up a render of this with some of the stuff labeled. But basically there's a pin, a connector piece, and then a knob and this allows you to spin. And when you're running the machine, it makes it such a better experience. When you're assembling this, make sure that you assemble all of this with the pin in place, with everything in place, before you put it into the handle. Because once it's on here, it's really hard to take off. And this connector piece is really hard to like actually get into place because when you push it together, that's as far as it can go. So just make sure you assemble it before you push it into your handle. Next, we'll talk about pins. So pin from version one, you can sort of see there is some scarring on the sides. This is because when it rubbed against the box, it would just get messed up. Um, for version two, I made a circle here, which means that when it's rubbing against the box, instead of taking off a corner, you know, it's just sliding more easily and it works a lot better. Now on to this piece. So I changed over to the disc because it spins better. I'm not exactly sure why. I assume it's because like an edge on this is catching in something that like when it spins, it's hitting a thing. But I don't know exactly. When I switched to the disc, it worked better, so that's what I went with. Now onto the case. So this case has these edges here, while the other one is just flat. These edges mean that the lower case section can fit in place, and you know, if I push these together, they stay where they're supposed to be. Before, you had to assemble it very carefully, make sure you didn't push it too far, because you push it too far, and then your entire mechanism is getting squished, and it doesn't work. So now, I'm going to show the full assembly of it. I like to start out with the disc and the pin, put it in place, make sure that it's not going to go anywhere, and you can glue that connection. You put it into your top piece, you put the slot on there, it moves, you put your base piece on there, and then you attach the handle. I try and line the handle up so it's going the same way as that. It spins nicely. And <laughs> Sometimes it falls apart. Um, but let me flip that around. Spins nicely. And you can do the shape. While this mechanism is just a toy, it is also a fun talking point, and the designing of it was a good exercise in making multi part 3D prints. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel for more.